What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And Pooh Shiesty done been hit with some strong conditions, man. We all just seen him get convicted. He going to do his prison time. Um, it looks like he's going to have to do 63 months in prison. Now, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to get that time cut or whatever. Remember, when you're rich and you got a big-time lawyer, they be doing all kind of shit to try to figure out a way to make you come home early. But as of right now, it's looking like he's going to do 63 months inside of a prison. Once he's released, uh, the condition says he's going to have to do three years on supervision, parole, um, so he's going to have, you know, a parole officer that's going to be checking in on him. And from the conditions that was laid out, the parole officer can search his house, him or anything that he's surrounded at any time without any permission. Uh, when he's come home, uh, he's going to be on strict supervision. He can't hang around no gang members, no thug niggas, nobody associated on that case as far as his co-defendants. And he can't even hang with his chopper crew um, from what I was told for three years, you know. Then he's going to have to take drug testings, drug screenings, all kind of things like that. So it seems like they trying to push, push Icey out of that thug lick, you know. Look for NBA Youngboy to kind of go through some of these same things that Pooh Shiesty going through. I don't know about the jail time, but, you know, with those restrictions, that's the reason why NBA Youngboy kind of been covered up for a little while. Pooh Shiesty, though, I'm going to tell you something, man. This man was at the height of his career. You know, I understand you a grown man, but Gucci done been through a lot of shit. He done been locked up. I think Gucci could have gave this man a little better assistance. Don't get me wrong. I'm pretty sure you gave him the bag and gave him advice. But Pooh Shiesty brought a lot of energy to the rap game that was a little different. Back in blood. Get your money back in blood. You know, his name was Pooh Shiesty and shit like that. So he brought a little negative energy to the game. But you got to understand that is art. That's music. The guy rap about what he see. We're not going to knock that, but. You know, what he went through kind of reminds a lot of people of the Back in Blood song. You know, you don't need security. You're in the club. Some shit happens. Pooh Shiesty get the blick, and according to the police, you know. This guy is going to be locked up at the height of his career while he's super hot right now. The music business still how it is when he get home. He going to skyrocket real fast, though, once he come home. But, you know, to lose that time right now, the man got family. The man got, you know, mamas and people that he had that he was taking care of. He's not going to be able to do that while he locked up. You know, the bag is here, but the bag keep going down if ain't no money going back in the pot. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think people understand that. I felt like Pooh Shiesty started believing that energy. He started believing his avatar. He started believing the character that people gave him. Invincible. You know, they'll pull out a pistol and shoot in the club for the people who will tell on you, you know. I'm not sure if that was the smartest thing for Pooh Shiesty, but it's going to be gone right now. Um, I think when he come home, he got an opportunity to still do it. Guwap going to be super old, though, you know what I'm saying, but... Uh, I think Pooh Shiesty is going to do something when he come home in his music shit, man. It's crazy, though, man, because we just seen a lot of these young people throw away these precious opportunities. Imagine growing up in the hood, you know, being stricken by poverty, you know, growing up in them ghetto-ass neighborhoods, and then overnight you got an opportunity to be a millionaire, and then you throw it away over public opinion. We got to be careful with that. That's why I want to ask y'all a question, and I want y'all to be honest with me. Do you think Pooh Shiesty should have handled that different, man? Maybe he had the security. Maybe he had a send off guy do some shit like that. Or do you think, hey, you know, street niggas got to handle shit when it come? I'd love to know what you think. Leave me a comment. It's on me. Truth tell the street reporter.